In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa pray for us. Well, those John Larry prophecies are quite potent now. He talks about the warning a lot in the six weeks of conversion time where we can convert our relatives more effectively because they will have seen a vision of where they're going to end up, heaven, hell, or purgatory. This can be quite shocking to people. That's why... Uh, you know, prophecy suggests you get to confession. Any unconfessed sins, you'll see quite clearly. And, uh, <laughs> you know, go to confession. Keep going to confession. Uh, and don't go uh, without truly confessing. Don't go just for show, you know, because God sees your heart. Don't, you know, go to communion just for show because God sees your heart. That's why I'm so specific on it. Because there's a lot of people in my family living in sacrilege, and for me, telling them to continue that crime is is not going to work for them. They need to actually come clean first before they frequent the sacraments, because they're frequenting them unworthily. So I got to make that distinction. Also, Archbishop, you know, Vigano, he he joins with all these magazines that are in schisms, and I really think he needs to he tell the people that even though he's partnering with these schismatic magazines that does not make him a schismatic or in partnership with their schisming maybe he needs it for the publicity or to spread the news about the corruption in the hierarchy of the church and that's all fine and dandy i mean we all read you know state reports about things that doesn't mean we agree with the religion of where the people are writing it Although we have to obviously read everything with a grain of salt now, and that's an understatement to the max. But, uh, and even in the Catholic Church, we have to read things with a grain of salt. What I'm saying is, is it's not right to schism. It's just not. Uh, even if you're the last man standing in the church, it's just a lack of faith on the part of the priest. They don't really think that God will give them the graces to persevere in their faith in a sea of anarchy. And the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Jesus, pray for us. But remember, there's even Protestant people who've never had the sacrament. And God seems to watch over them, doesn't he? And he even seems to plant his blessing in them, on, their, on them. So, uh, keeping that in mind, God really can make a, a Catholic person persevere in, in unjust times. Look at Father Gordon McRae. You know, he hasn't had confession in a long time. But these are extraordinary circumstances. We see the grace of God working. After the six weeks of conversion time, you will want to get rid of your phone, uh, any video or, or computer. So this thing will be gone. That's why I recommend getting some books, you know.
here. This helps with the arm elevation.
strings. That's a little sharp. That's a sound a little sharp. chance or break it's really you're building like that that muscle area around your elbow really when you're playing for the frog and I wish that my violin teachers had really stressed that or told me more about that and it's kind of like an athlete building muscle I mean in certain ways you know I feel like I'm I'm making a big batch of muffins I have to have the arm strength to, to mix that big bat thick batter with my arm with my right arm you know it's kind of that kind of muscle so let's just uh yeah, be thankful and grateful, you know? That's why I also think guys are just better at the violin. They have more natural muscle mass to do this stuff. I mean, they just do. More endurance for it. They're built for it. You know, and that's what the modern society, they'll just never let, they'll never uh, tell you that. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. Direction. 